Hello, this is Michael O'Grady and welcome to another Flash episode. This time we're looking at uh, symbols and the graphic symbol. So let's open an ActionScript 3 file to start off with. You'll notice here that uh, we default to Scene 1. This is our main stage. And to make a symbol, we can go to Insert New Symbol. You'll also see shortly and go to Modify. Now your pro machine probably defaults to um, no advanced button option. And when we select, we've got three. Graphic is the simplest. We'll be going on to button and movie clip shortly. So I'm just going to call mine Blob and I'm going to make a Blob. In the advanced, um, this is where we would export for action script and put a class name. So we'll be going there in a couple of sessions, but uh, not now. Now you can see that scene one, back to our stage, becomes a hyperlink and this is how we get back to our stage. But we're currently in the editing mode of blob and we've got this registration point and this is the, the, the center point, if you will, of, of the graphics. And we need to put the graphics around uh, this. So when we open the library, we have blob in there as a, as a graphic icon. If library is not open, you'll see it's here, library or control L. So we'll just close that off and then go back to, to open it again. So there's nothing in blob at the moment, so let's put some blob type content. So we'll just go with a pencil tool and just create a blob shape, ensuring that it's closed. Go to the paint bucket, pick a suitable color and flood it. Okay, so that floods the library as well. So remember, this is the editing mode of Blob. When we go back to Scene, there's nothing there. So we can drag as many uh, instances, these copies are called instances, either from the graphic area itself or from the name Blob, it doesn't matter. Now, by virtue of these being graphic symbols, they have a, a line around them to tell you that they are. We can now go in to change their different properties. If I want to go back to Edit Blob, I just go to double click the icon and then choose um, a color. And then we see that all our instances are changed because we changed the original. Okay, so let's go to the free transform tool and rotate. If you press shift, it uh, snaps to 45 degree increments. We can skew our items and we can enlarge in both directions. We can also go to the properties and uh, change the color. We've got a few things here. Um, we can change the brightness. Basically, tend it, uh, push it towards black, uh, no light, or push it towards white, full light, so we can make it darker or lighter. We can also put a, a colour chip over the top. We can select the colour, it's currently black, so let's select something more, um, oh, let's just move this properties table over for you so you can uh, get a better look at the colours. Let's uh, make it more red. So we put a colour chip on there. Let's just move it back. Oh, I let go in the wrong place. So you can tell it's still open. Uh, let's just get it back again. Uh, I, op I let it go up there. So if we just drop it in this area, you'll see the blue rectangle uh, is showing where we're going to drop it. So I can control the strength of this red overlay. Zero is there's no red. Uh, back to 100% it's fully red. So we'll drop it somewhere in between and get a, a muddy orange. <coughs> we can also control the red here if we want a particular red, green and blue. Uh, if we put blue all the way up we get a, a purple. Okay. So that's, that covers making graphic symbols, um, so it's no, uh, no great issues there. Let's get rid of those. Some of your graphics might be imported bitmaps. So let's have a look at importing. Now you can't see here, but there's import to stage and import to library. I'm going to import to library and then have a look at the library and see what's there. So we've got uh, some Google pictures here. I'll just bring this uh, orange, whichever one this is. It thinks about it and then it brings it into the, the library. This is Albert Sense. Um, and if we drag the picture on, you can see we can do 
the, the normal free transform things. But we don't get the option of colorizing. Colorize an American word. So we've been before to insert a new symbol. What I'm going to do now is modify and convert a symbol. I'm going to take this graphic and convert it. Let's just get rid of the free transform. And convert it to symbol, I'll call it uh, Google, and you can see that the type is graphic. I can make it a button or a movie clip. And I can also determine whether the registration point is in the center or top left uh, or other areas. So it's now uh, the graphic there and the symbol graphic is there. So now we've got a blue box around it showing that it's um, a, a flash graphic and we can colorize, or change the color effect, so make it darker or lighter or apply a tint over the top of different strengths. And of course whether it was a normal graphic picture, a bitmap, or a graphic symbol as it is now, we can skew, rotate and do all sorts of things with it. Okay, So that's it. Uh, we're going to move on to buttons next, which is our second most complicated symbol.